So here is Eastwood's original 2K Aero Spray. For those of you that don't know how this works, inside this can there's a bladder that holds a chemical activator. You puncture that bladder by pressing this red button onto the bottom of the can, give it a good shake, the activator and the paint mix together, a chemical reaction begins, and you could spray a true 2K paint with the ease of use of a rattle can. No air compressor, no paint gun needed. Great product, however, the isocyanates in these are really bad if you inhale them or absorb them through your skin. That's why you guys always see me wear an organic vapor respirator and full gear when spraying. Also, once this chemical reaction starts, there's no way to stop it. The pot life is about 48 hours before this can of paint turns into a solid brick. Here's a brand new groundbreaking product that's called Eastwood 2K Duraspray. It gives you the same strength, UV resistance, scratch resistance, and hardness like any other 2K will give you, but it works a little differently. As you spray the Duraspray out of the can, it actually uses the moisture in the air around you to kickstart its chemical reaction. Pretty unbelievable stuff going on with Duraspray chemically. There's no bladder popping, and the best part is, since the reaction doesn't start until the paint leaves the can itself, you can use this, put it back on the shelf, and next time you go to use it, it'll be ready to go. And that goes for all four different cans of Duraspray. The epoxy primer, the epoxy filler primer, the top coats, and the clear coats in either gloss satin or matte. Use them, get a 2K paint gun quality coating, throw it back on the shelf for use later on, and it won't turn itself into a brick like a 2K Aerospray would. No waste, which is always a good thing. You can spray these coatings over pretty much anything as well. Aluminum, bare steel, galvanized steel, wood, most plastics, copper, brass, carbon fiber, and even old paint finishes. Like I said, Duraspray is great for getting a hardened 2K coating on a bunch of different small projects, and each can will last about three years on the shelf. Each color can of Duraspray will give you about 27 square feet of paint coverage, primers will cover about 22 square feet, and the clear coats will cover an impressive 32 square feet per can. Since Duraspray has no bladder inside the can, we can pack more paint in there, so these go further than an Aerospray in terms of square footage covered all around. Duraspray comes in a bunch of different flavors as well, as you can see. Just kidding, don't eat this stuff. There's epoxy primers in black and gray, epoxy filler primer will give you higher build and self-leveling properties, and that's available in light and dark gray. There's a multitude of different top coat colors available, all the usual suspects, and there's even some available in high gloss satin or matte. And last but not least, you have your clears, and they're available in high gloss satin or matte as well. Duraspray has been run through an entire gamut of tests, not only to ensure that they're gonna hold up just as good, if not better than other 2K paints on the market, but so that you have the confidence to trust these on your beloved project car. We test these for adhesion in two different ways. We perform the crosshatch cat scratch test. We've also tested for pull off strength to make sure that these coatings bond strongly. We've tested resistance to cracking and delamination with the drop test and the 180 degree bend flexibility test. Of course, we've simulated real world simulations as well by torturing these coatings with 1000 hours in the salt chamber, which simulates the wear and tear of those harsh winter months. We performed a QUV accelerated weathering test that simulates moisture and UV radiation at the same time. And lastly, we've tested these for chemical and solvent resistance so you know that these can hold up to MEK solvents or gasoline. All tests are performed at ASTM or DIN EN ISO standards and all of these coatings passed. The application process for Duraspray is really pretty simple. First, go ahead, grab your safety gear. You still wanna wear this because the clear coats specifically do still have isocyanates in them. Colors and primers are totally isocyanate free, but of course, you don't wanna inhale paint, so always wear your respirator and your gloves. Then you can shake the can, and that's all it takes to be ready to spray. You wanna hold the can about six to 10 inches from the substrate and spray in a checkerboard pattern for complete coverage. These spray just like a regular paint gun as well. Nice and even fan style spray pattern. Nothing like those crappy tennis ball spray patterns that you get out of most other rattle cans out there. Maximum, you could lay down three coats with three minutes in between each coat of epoxy, filler, or top coat. The clear is gonna wanna sit slightly longer in between coats. Clear is gonna need to sit 
15 minutes in between each coat, but that's the only difference in the application process. Once you're done, flip the can totally upside down and spray for five seconds or so to clean out the nozzle. Otherwise, the paint that's in the nozzle will harden just like a 2K paint would, and the can won't spray correctly next time. After that though, you can throw these back on the shelf and they'll be good as new next time you go to reach for one of these, and that's really the beauty of Duraspray. Drying times are going to vary. The two primers are going to be the quickest. Touch dry in 15 minutes, sandable in 12 hours. Top coats will take the longest to touch dry, anywhere from three to 12 hours, depending on the moisture in the air around you before they're touch dry, and a full 12 hours before the top coat is scratch resistant, water resistant, and polishable. Last but not least, you have your clear coats. Clear coats will take full 12 hours to be touch dry, scratch resistant, and polishable. Now across the board, those drying times are a little bit longer than some of the aerosprays that we've offered previously. And that is the only downside when it comes to Duraspray is the fact that they do take a little bit longer to fully cure than those 2K aerosprays. It's gonna take eight to 10 days before these coatings are fully cured. And that applies to everything. But after that, you're golden. These will be fully hardened and UV resistant, just like a regular 2K paint. And at that point, ready to hold up to chemicals or solvents like gasoline. Now you can speed up drying times with some extra heat, little infrared radiation, or even the extra moisture on a humid day can help speed up the drying process since that moisture is what activates the chemical reaction. Good rule of thumb though, always spray at room temp, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and keep humidity somewhere in between 25 and 75%. Great product, great finish, very easy to use. What's not to love about that? Eastwood Duraspray. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also check out our channel as well. We have tons of great how-to content over there. You're definitely gonna wanna see. We'll have all the Duraspray's linked below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm JD. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.